Hello everybody and welcome to another Path of Excel video. Today we're going to be discovering the delve mechanics. I kind of had a quick look at it in Act 4, the first time I ever played Path of Excel, but I don't know anything really about it. I've read no guides, I don't know what I'm talking about, so the only thing I know is that I can force my maps to contain masses of Voltexic Sulfite, which then Nico can extract. Speaking of Nico, where is he? I think I need to add him myself, right? Let's see. There he is. You must complete the quest Nico's Fuel in Act 4 to unlock Nico in your hide. At. Ooh, okay, so I didn't even do that. Let's go do that. Hello, visit mine encampment. Okay, so far so good. There it is. There's the quest. Judge a mine by its entrance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think I'm, I'm supposed to go into it, enter it. Okay, let's go. All right, so we follow the crawler, choose a destination. Okay, we'll go down here. That costs me Azerite, and I protect the crawler. I mean, so far so good, right? This crawler is going pretty fast. And what do I do now? Collect the Azerite. Okay, defeat the monsters. All right. Okay, get some loot, and I get a bunch of Azerite. Oh, I collected by just moving around. That's nice. And then we choose another destination. We'll go to the abandoned camp next door, because I can't go anywhere else, it seems. Come on, bud. What name are we going to give this crawler? It needs to have a name. I think I want to call it something big and fuzzy, like bear. There you go. We're going to call him bear. <laughs> That's not really a bear, is it? <laughs> so I've done the thing. So now I need to choose another destination. Oh, you get armor for being here. But I don't have any more Azerite. Like, I can't go there. I don't have enough sulfite. So how's that supposed to work? Can I not leave? What happens if I try to leave? Oh, damage, damage. I actually take a lot of damage. So where do I go now? Can I walk back the way I came safely? Yes. Oh, there's some Azerite there. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Done. Talk to Nico. All right. There he is. Use the Voltaxic generator to craft two flares and a dynamite. Two flares, so you need five of that currency, and I don't see... Oh, I got 30. So two flares and one piece of dynamite. Use dynamite to destroy a fractured wall. Where can I find a fractured wall? Oh, Nico is there to explain stuff. Perfect. Since the mine's been around for so long, all the easy pickings have already been pinched. Might have to do some excavating of your own. Sure, let's have a look at the chart. Can I jump to any of these? No. But I don't have any sulfite. Will I be able to blow anything up? I doubt it. Like, I haven't seen any walls of any kind. Anything here? Nope. No. Doesn't seem to be working right now. So, okay. What do I need? Quite simply, I need sulfite. So let's get some sulfite through the maps. I guess, did I complete that quest? Can I still put Nico in here? Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hi, Nico. Part of my hideout now. Atlas mission. See, I can just do an Atlas mission with him now. Okay, good. I can sell him stuff. Oh, also, I have some extra Atlas points. So I thought, why don't I put them in delves so that that should help me do more delves, I'm guessing. You gain plus one to all maximum elemental resistance. Okay. You gain 15% increased movement speed for each sulfite vein or chest found in your map. Okay, sure. And this is guarded hordes, Voltaxic six sulfite veins and chests in your maps have 5% chance to contain double sulfite. Cool. What map am I going to pick? Do I go for an easy one just for the beginning, just to check it out? I think so. Let's try one easy one first. Okay, so monstrous poison on hit. Sure, let's just do that one. Because Nico has, it took me a while to understand this, but Nico, I can do four white, four yellows, and six reds and force Voltaxic Sulfite to be there. Can I make this harder in any way? Not really. Well, I can, but not currently. I don't need to. All right, let's jump in. Of course, we've got to juice the map. It's important. See, I'm using terms like juice the map instead of saying affliction. I just know my stuff now. I'm a real POE player, you know? <laughs> now, depending on when this video releases, it is possible that it releases before the actual affliction video and I hope that didn't actually happen. <laughs> if it did, please don't be alerted or confused. I, there's actually a video of me discovering affliction for the first time. Well, this kind of stuff. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Let's pick an aura precision. There we go. That is a cool aura. I got that uh, MTX box for the battle pass. I opened it on stream, so stream is, stream is luck for sure. You should uh, make sure you subscribe, by the way, if you want to not miss any of my streams because we have fun. Yes, we do. Okay, so Voltaxic Sulfide Vein. Interact to acquire Voltaxic Sulfide. Yes, I got 400. That's huge. Hi, right, Nico. So that's it? I just leave him there? Oh, okay. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> oh, there's one more here. 500. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, and I see there's like a maximum 1,200. Okay. wonder if I can do anything about that. Yes, essences. I need more. I need more essences. They're worth so much. Yes. Amazing. God, I've been doing a lot of like tier 14 maps and stuff, which has been tough. So this is amazing. Okay, Orb of Alchemy, go. Aura Gift, yes, why not? All right, so I'm at the maximum amount now, and my mission is complete. That's interesting. I right, Nico. Okay, let's see what he says. Might be a good time to go dig. Okay, so I need to dig, basically, so I can get more space, I, I'm guessing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's exploding everywhere. So what did I get here? A city map, Orb of Regret, more maps, a scarab, love it. Okay, 
Now we can go back to the casa, sell a couple things. There you go, 14 jewelers orb. You gotta love it. Visit mine encampment. Let's go do that again and finish the quest, which was to use whatever it was, the mine or I can't remember, use the explosions. Okay, here I am and we gotta continue somewhere else. Surely I don't need to go through all of this, do I? How big is this anyway? Can I not just go to the left there? Guess not, let's go to the cavity. Good thing bear moves real quick. Okay. Activate the Azerite, kill everybody. Easy peasy. Okay, get the Azerite. Oh, 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 wait, wait. It seems like potentially I can just do this. So I'm level 80, so potentially I can just go level 86. Does that work? Hey, I think it worked. Look at that. Yes, oh my God, I was so scared. I'd have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> like the whole, whole thing. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm guessing these guys are gonna be a bit tougher. Okay, activate the Azerite thing. This is a great reminder there that I could never be a person who goes underground for long periods of time. It's just not me. I need to find a fractured wall. Ooh, look at all this Azerite. Whoa. Upgrade your darkness resistance at the generator. Wait, I need to find a fractured wall. I don't see any fractured walls here. There's some vaults. Azerite cavity. Let's go check that out. I kind of love the Path of Exile just kept some of this stuff. You know, they didn't make it uh, like a timed exclusive thing. They were just like, yeah, it stays. It stays. That means the next season you can just play it as much as you want. They don't force you to play any way, really. I'm sure some are better than others. But if you're like a huge fan of Delve, you can be like, yep, yeah, that's my thing. I'm just going to stick with that forever now if that's all right. More Azerite, perfect. So I got a bunch of Azerite now and I'm running out of Voltaxic Sulfite. So I need to go back to the top. But if I remember correctly, I can't use any portals. Return to Cartographer's Hideout. There we go, there we go. Nico. Oh, let's go to the mine encampment first. Hello, I'm here to unlock things. I got a bunch of Azerite. Oh, so I can augment my capacity. It's pretty dope. That costs absolutely nothing. Nearly. And I need to upgrade my darkness level or resistance. There doesn't seem to be a limit on these upgrades, by the way, just something. Well, I'll upgrade a bit more of that, a bit more of this. Okay, cool. The deeper you go, the harder it squeezes the darkness. You ought to put some of your Azerite towards making your light a bit brighter. Yes. Um, so I need some Voltaxic Sulfite. So I need to go do another map. Maybe we'll do a more difficult map. Oh, it seems like I had never done this map before. Cool. Well, good. I'll be able to finish some maps. Like complete them anyway. All right, off we go. Let's make sure we juice the map. Oh, there's plenty of it here. Look at that. Can I just click on all of them? Yep, seems like it. Wow. Okay, so that completes the mission. There's not much to it, is there, during a mission? It's just like, find the sulfites and just go for it. I've got one point here. Is there any more Delve stuff that I could... There we go. Go that way and I'll get 4% chance to grant an additional Nico mission on completion. Right. I wonder if, like, a higher tier maps give you more Voltax 6 sulfite. There's one right there. Got myself some... I, I got, I'm gonna... Sulfite. Sulfite. That's the name. I keep forgetting names. So many names, my dudes. There you go. There's the last one. Mission complete. I'll take that. All right. Now that's all done. We can go back to the mine encampment and go back to actually the subterranean chart will tell us where to go. Ooh. So I, I see that like this is saved in a way. Like, does that make sense? Like that's saved. And this is as far as we can go. Depth 92 monster level. That's interesting. Shall we go there? The lowest that we can go to and then pick a one that's even lower. That's a lot of sulfite though. 600. Woof. I'm still still haven't found one of those fractured walls. I will though. I forgot about the darkness. You got to be careful. Stay with the bear. Stay with the bear. So far, so good. I was expecting a bit more resistance, but maybe this is just the beginning. You know what I mean? If there's something I've learned from Path of Exile is that most times it's only just the beginning. <laughs> I need this cart. I need this bear to give me more light. I need to be able to move a bit. You know what I mean? Strong boxes. More strong boxes. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in Path of Exile. I think this. All these strong boxes. Yes. Love it. Careful of the darkness stuff. Upgrade your light radius once again. Okay, maybe. Oh, that was it. It was, oh, it was part of it all. Okay, okay, now I get it. So I can go further down. So I can go to this, which contains items. Blow up a fractured wall with dynamite to find a path to this encounter. So where do we think that is? Probably here, right? Between those two? So we'll start with the petrified forest. All right, pure azurite. Let's go. I love the colors. It's really nice. Done. Okay, that's pretty good. And I got some Azerite for that. So I'll go down here. Down here. Ooh, what? Why did I? Why did we teleport? Star Delve? What is this? Wait, where are we? This is weird. Did I miss something? I probably missed something, didn't I? Oh, God. I kind of got excited. I was like, there's something new, but no. So there's a sealed lockbox here and a resonator stash, but the chest is locked. So I'm going to have to kill everybody, I'm sure. Usually that's how it goes. All right, that's done. Upgrade your darkness resistance. Yeah, so it keeps telling me to do all these things, but not why. 
So, I get a potent chaotic resonator. Reforges a rare item with new randoms. Okay. So, I'm here. How do I get to there? Is there a way for me to go back to the cargo? Yeah, okay. So, that's good that I can kind of jump back and forth. Uh, I was actually hoping to go to the mine encampment, please. Thank you. Voltax 6 generator. I need some light. Imagining things. Man, there's so much like voice act acted stuff. I love it. Oh, we've already done this. <laughs> He's actually already told me about this before. Oh, what's this? Abyssal chamber. Okay. Can we go back here? Yes. Hopefully. So the light should be a bit better. Wait a second. We've been here before. It didn't look like this. Or maybe it did, but like from a different angle. Is that possible? Oh my goodness. Is there a wall somewhere here? I don't want to take any damage, but I'm looking for this abyssal wall. Okay. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's the... Where could it be? I'm not sure. I'm going into different places trying to find this wall. Okay. Now what? So we get the resonators, which is awesome. And an iron hash. No thanks. What's this? A veil outpost? My God, that's so so many things to discover. They just cost a lot of money to get from one place to another. So let's go grab some Azerite, I guess, so that we can level up our stuff, you know? The fractured wall should be somewhere along here. I just realized. So if we look at the map, somewhere along here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the bear? There it is. Scared there for a second. There we go. Look at that explosion of Azerite. That feels good. Okay, so now that I've finished the event, I can go back. And that's what I want to do because if we have a quick look at this, right? Blow up a fractured wall. So as we're kind of going in straight lines, I'm imagining that it's here, like there. So I need to find expedition time, not expedition, but discovery. I wouldn't even know if what a fractured wall looks like if it slapped me in the face. Oh, oh, wait, I have flares. I could use a flare. Makes sense to me. So let's kill these guys first and then drop a flare. Careful of the damage. Let's try it. Six. There we go. And another. Yes. They don't last forever. That's for sure. All right. I'm going to need more of those. Let's go back to the mine encampment. So once again, it's telling me to upgrade my light, but I need a radius. So craft a few more of these, better duration, better radius, better radius. And then of course, the darkness, the darkness, the darkness, the darkness. How can I find a fractured wall? So difficult. Wow, this is so big. It's huge. So where was I? I was here. So should I go for this veil outpost? Or should I go for the abysmal city? Abyssal city. I think I go to the abyssal city. Abysmal? Abyssal? Abyssal? How do you pronounce it? So the point is to collect this currency so that after you can come here and do whatever this is we do here. Which seems like a bit of a discovering kind of Indian, not Indiana Jones, but like a bit of a miners, the descent vibe. You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing here? Well, we're pushing the boundaries, you know, discovering new things, seeing what's around the corner. That's the vibe I'm getting anyway. That's right. So then, yeah, there's that one. Off we go. It's frustrating. Sometimes you don't have time to kill the enemies, so you might as well just jump around. This is great for my experience, by the way. Just leveling up slowly but surely. Oh, here we are. Ruined armaments, heavy armaments. Okay. Who's this guy? Eowyn Grafer. Well, he's dead. That's for sure. Minara. Are those other exiles? Okay, done. I don't see any specific loot here. Oh, I need 680 to get to the Abyssal City, which I'm very excited about. Or I could go to the Azerite Vault for 358, which sounds also like a great idea. Let's go do that. There it is. Let's activate it and start hitting things real hard. You know, the more I play Path of Exile, the more I believe that it's actually not a good representation to compare, to try to compare it to Diablo 4, because that's kind of the conversation that comes up in my, my live streams. And I think it's Path of Exile, the breadth and depth of it is more comparable to an EVE Online. Does that make sense? Or am I just crazy? It's just crazy thought, but maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. Yeah, boy, all the Azerite is mine. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna go upgrade my stuff. But first, go back to maps and collect more or Voltaxic Sulfite. So I've got three maps to complete. They're all yellow, which is perfect. So let's get going. Maybe I'll get to level up this map, which is good. Let's juice it up a bit first. Always worth the time. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. I cannot gain experience, but I'll get 50% increased quantity and 100% quest rarity. Fine, I won't level up, I guess. Maybe I should have just cleared the Wildwoods first before I did that. Oh, what's that? Oh, I clicked on it. Well, we're fine. You're cursed. You deal less damage and have reduced accuracy. This is fantastic. I just clicked on something that is gonna really hurt me, I think, in this map. Oh my God, I'm terrified. The arena already? Okay, that's one down. There's gonna be, what, two more? Am I correct in my thinking here? Also, how many arenas are connected to this? Oh my god. I do love the monster density this game is so fun. <laughs> oh yeah, lockbox. Strongbox. Whatever. Box. Yeah. Some gloves. Cool. An amulet. Why not? 
another Voltai South Azurite Sulfite thing. That's two. And I'm getting a lot more this time. I'm getting 900 a pump. That's pretty good. Maybe I won't need to do all of them, actually. Yeah, look at that. That's amazing. I'm just going to be able to jump back in straight away. Okay, let's go. Arena, one more. Ah, oh, this is it. This is it. Everybody's going to die. Oh, yeah. Arena complete. Add a new Atlas passive point, which I'll take. Thank you very much. Gladly. I'll put it into my delve, which is going to be right here. Voltaxic sulfide veins and chests in your map contain 3% increased sulfide. It's going to be very helpful for me right now because I am going back in. So where should we go? To the abyssal chamber. Let's check it out. What's it all about? What's it all about? I also need to find a fractured wall somewhere. I am just running through this continent right now. Yeah, level up. That's level 89. That's kind of cool. Nearly 990. I thought it'd be harder, actually. I'm very surprised I got to this level already. Oh, oh, we've unlocked like a place. Shall we try it? See what it's all about? Okay. What is this place about? I mean, oh, oh, I can't actually go through it without putting down some flares. How's that going to work? Also, the enemies just keep coming. What's going on? Okay, let, let me put down a flare. Six. There you go. Put down a flare. Oh, oh, sealed lockbox, sealed lockbox. What is going on? Got a map. Wow, 40 scrolls? Iceberg map, bog map, core map. Nice. Okay, so I'm running real fast to get back to the light, as I should. And now I can do the same around here. Yep, there we go. There's one there. I'm not taking too much damage, so two jewels. Sure, why not? Run, 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 run. Another one there. Oh, no, six, six. I'm not dying. I got to go back. I got to get back. Okay, I'm out of flares. That was kind of cool. I like that. The Leech Tomb, Abyssal City, content unknown. That's kind of ominous. All right, I'm here. I've arrived. Now what? The Abyssal Sanctum. Oh, who's this guy? Kurgrag the Black Blooded? Damn. And he is not taking a lot of damage. And I am. I am taking damage. So he is taking damage, but it's taken a while. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now we're in face two. What is this? It's like a fully fledged boss. What in the world? Oh, oh, darkness. Darkness. Let me put down a flare. Oh my god. If I didn't have flares out, I would have been screwed. See, flare's gone. Six again. New flare. Berserk mode activated. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. He's nearly dead. Come on. Yes, we got him. There's a phase three. <laughs> no, no. Okay, he's weaker though. What the frick is going on? Berserker mode activated. I have to. There's no other way around it. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. That was incredible. I loved it. Okay, let me sell some stuff and then we'll go to the other part of this. Uh, Veil outpost. I have to try that next. Let's go back and uh, try that. This one. Bissell City. Oh, I can't get there. No, I need to get here first. Okay. You know what? This could like, just the Delve system could be its own roguelike game by itself. Like it could be on Steam as a early access game. Like some kind of roguelike get as deep as you can kind of thing. You know? So it's, it's always a bit the same way you're like you gotta clear the zone first and then you get the rewards from that zone very good and then we're gonna go down to the abyssal chamber there's a magma fissure also yes so i want to actually do that and then go down here for the uh azurite vault so there's one here i'd rather go down there first frozen hollow contains gems okay i'll go here first let's go bear we have arrived city chambers interact to open the stairway to the city chambers below which i've done let's check it out Oh, it's the same. It's the same. It's got to be the same, right? Okay, so get here. Put one of these down. Ooh. Oh my god. Look at all this. <laughs> this is so good. Harbingered orb. Yep, that's really good. Fusing horizon, scoring chromatic orb. There's a lot. This is great for currency. Some jewels. I have seen a few jewels, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let's go. Oh, no. I was rooted. That's it. Well, I'm here. Let's upgrade a bit of this. Darkness resistance. Always good. And light radius. And also, while I'm here, radius of the flares. And three more flares, please. Thank you. So how does it work if I want to go back to where we were? It does not... Let's check it out. So, yeah. So, basically, I, I opened the portal down here, but because I died in it, I can't stay. I can't try it again, is what I'm getting. That's fine. We're going somewhere else now. Moving away from the abyss. Flawed Azerite vein. Oh, yeah. You got to keep an eye out. There's lots of stuff in between. Now we're in the magma zone. Let's kill these blue boys. Get that explosion of Azerite. Mmm. Oh, and I got a Rusted Legion Scarab. Nice, I think. All right, the crawler or bear, as I like to call him, is done. Let's go to the Veil Outpost. I want to see what that's all about. Man, you can spend your whole time down here just, like, discovering stuff. You do your maps, and then you come down here and do something different. I like that. I didn't have anything like that before. I was just doing maps, you know? And maybe some syndicate stuff, but wow. I'm really, really impressed. 
City chambers. All right, let's go down. Check it out. Are we also going to get the darkness thing? Yep, that's for sure. Okay, so to go here, press six, open everything. And I'm guessing I'm getting different rewards. Like I'm not getting ab abyssal rewards. I'm getting other things. Okay, I need to run again, run again, run again. And there's another chamber. Oh, and there's already a lamp down here. So it doesn't even matter. I didn't even need the flare. Harbinger orb. Wow, what are these things? Some maps. And that was the Veil Outpost. So now if I want to go here, I need sulfite. Okay, back to doing some maps. But honestly, we're kind of rushing the, these maps. We're just we're just going in there to get the juice, to get the gold. Let's juice the map. Takes three seconds. There's one. A thousand sulfite for that. Wow. Ooh, should we do a um, trial? Should we have fun with that? Careful, I'm a, I'm a gambler at heart. This game has made me a gambler at heart. I've never gambled before. Yeah, sure. So let's have a look. A cloud that deals chaos damage over time will follow you. Okay. Monsters deal 8% of physical damage. That's chaos, right? Or blades will periodically a player. I'll do the chaos one because I have some good chaos resistance. So I thought. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, next one. A monster type will apply ruin. No. A cloud that deals chaos damage. No. Monsters hit overwhelm all physical damage reduction. No. I'll go with the cloud. Next. Curses and non-damaging ailments you apply are reflected. Ooh. A large cloud that deals chaos damage will follow you. I think I'll have to stick with that one and just make sure I stay away from it, you know? Which is okay. I can do that easily, I think. Next. A large and fast cloud. <laughs> you and your minions deal no damage for two seconds every eight seconds. Yes. I can probably deal with that. No damage for two seconds every eight seconds. That's not the biggest deal. Because I have to move anyway away from this huge cloud. So should be all right. Oh, I think we're going to have to take the, the win with this after this. I don't think I can continue like this. Whoa, 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 don't let me die, don't let me die. Okay, that's it, that's it, take rewards, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Where was I? I was trying to figure out where that last vault thing was. There it is. Sulfur, Azerite mine, found it. Now where's the exit, please? Oh, there you go, done. I didn't even realize. Most of the time I don't realize it's the boss. I'm like just chipping away. All right, never mind. So back home we go. Back into the mine we go. And I want to make my way to something unique. So let's just go down, see what happens. We are going that way. Oh, large cache. Got some flares. Get away from me. There we go. All right, once again, choose destination. And we are going down, baby. Like way down. Let's see what's down there. Oh, it's really expensive to go down uh, in terms of Azurite. And these guys are getting harder and harder and harder. Harder to kill. Bit of Azurite. Good thing I saw it. Another flawed Azurite. God, we're getting plenty of Azurite. And another one. Wow. I'm just not sure how to get specific items at this point in time. I'm like, all right, this is a good way to do something different than maps. But what is the thing that the delve mechanic allows you to do that's unique to it? What is the thing that you can only get through delve? Orb of Alteration. Lots of Azurite. Bring on the Azurite. Boom. All the Azurite. Thank you very much. Like, I'm going to have to go up and around. Is that how it works? Wow. Okay. This is great for XP. Like, ridiculously so. What's this? Azurite vein and then something weird here. Orb of augmentation. Keeping an eye out for that fractured door or fractured wall, whatever. Oh, there. There. Put a flare down. Six. Uh, seven. Explode this. Seven. I've done it. Oh my god, that was scary. I'll have to come back down here after. Let's complete what I'm supposed to complete and go from there. Also, I have an atlas skill point. Your maps have 4% chance to grant an additional Nico mission. Right. So I did a thing, which was here. Let's put a flare down. Oh, and I found some hidden well. Nice. Also, these guys are not dying. Oh, that was very tense. Hidden loot. Yeah, okay. So we need an underground sea map, please. Or carcass map, actually. I can just do that straight up. Yep, that looks good. Voltaxic six sulfite. Off we go. Oh, divine orb. That's good, right? Yeah, that's really good. That's worth a lot. Nice. But I want to go down here, right? So let's go. Yep, let's jump through. Am I in a different kind of environment? Because I'm seeing different events. What is this? Interact to poison the meat. I'm supposed to poison the meat? What is going on? That is so random. Okay. Interact to poison the meat. Sure. Oh, yeah. Get some resonators, some scarabs, anything else you want to give me. Orb of scouring. Always useful. And now we're going to go down here if we can. So first we go to the weapons part. A frozen hollow. Smuggler's cache. All right. Come on, bear. And then I'm going to improve bear as much as I can. Oh, hi. What are you guys doing here? Okay, now that that's done, we can go down, down, down here. That's costing me a lot of sulfide because it's far. That's what I'm getting out of this. That's what I'm thinking it's all about. Oh, there's a well, there's a wall here. There's a wall. I don't have anything to blow up the wall, though. You guys you need to tell me how you play this. Like, do you do the same as me? Do you just go in any direction or do you choose a specific thing? Like, how does it work for you guys? And uh, we made it. Man, I'm killing these faster than they can pop up. Oof. 
Okay, done. I'm gonna get some cartographer chisels. Flasks I don't need. All right, so should we go for the fossils? Fossils? Should we go try out the fossils? I feel like I'm here, so I might as well. You know what I mean? Uh, currencies to grab. Currencies to grab. Let's go. So now that I'm here, I'm trying to get fossils. Whatever that means. Done. Iron ring. Great. Ooh. Frigid fossil. Prismatic fossil. Depth fossil. Pristine fossil. Dense fossil. I'll go to the mining encampment because I have upgrades available. Oh, look at that. All that azurite. I could use a gajillion of all that. Great. Let's upgrade. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see? Socketed fossils. So place in a resonator to influence item crafting. And this is reforge is a rare item with new random modifiers. Right. Okay. So for the sake of testing, right, let's grab one of my items from my stash to try to understand what's going on here. Now, let's say I want like a physical, something really physical in terms of the modifiers. So I can put this in this and put it on this, right? What about this two-parter one here? Mm, same thing. So this is a way to influence the modifications, I'm guessing. So, all right, I put it in here. All sockets must be filled. I'm trying. Place in a resonator to influence item crafting. This is weird. Requires one socketed fossil. fossil. Okay, let's see. Let's see if the mine encampment have, has more information about this. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, it's because I have a stack of seven. God damn it. There we go. Place it in and then I can just put it on this guy and suddenly I have physical damage and create. Oh, okay. Now it all makes sense. It's all it's all coming together now. Now I understand. Okay. Not the smartest um, person, obviously. Is there a tab for this? Because I'm a huge fan of tabs. Yes, I would like this for three euros or three pounds or three dollars. I will take it. It's done. Now I can get the delve. Look at me wasting my life and money on this game. I'm sure a few of you can relate. So this this is the Delve one, so I should call it Delve and give it the affinity for Delves. Cool, and now I can just boom, boom. Look at that, amazing. <laughs> It just feels good, doesn't it? Is that weird? I don't think it's weird, is it? Is it? Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff. Lovely. Uh, underground sea, that's the one we need to do. Okay, off we go. Find the volcanic sulfite stuff. 1,800 sulfite, that is wild. That's great. That's number two. One more. Done. Cartographer's hideout. Here I go. At the beginning, when I found out that you had to pay for stash tabs, I was like, why? You know, like, how does that work? But now I'm like, it is worth every penny. Love my stash tabs. I didn't realize how like currency heavy the game was. So like, it's worth its weight in gold when you actually get one of them. Considering it's a free to play game. Yada, 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 yada. And yeah, you should just chill out on the, the prices of some of these um, armor sets and uh, I'll be happy. What's over here? What is this? Ne interact to begin the encounter, a necromancy site. What is this? This guy invokes someone. This is fun. This is really fun. It all boils down to clicking, but you know, <laughs> do like a thematic event. What is this? Okay, done. Ooh, Orbs of Horizon. I've gotten a lot of these here and that's fantastic. Harbringer's Orb reforges a map as another of higher tier. That's also great. Orb of Alteration. Yep, take it all, take it all. Oh, it's a Smuggler's Stash. So if I'm correct and I'm starting to get this, I should see a lot of exiles, NPC, enemy exiles at the next spot. And yeah, I was right. There they are, the exiles. I'm guessing they're the bad exiles and I'm the good exile, right? That's how it works. Done. Didn't get anything for that, but this one looks fun. Contains a harbinger, which I don't know. Harbinger, which I don't know what it is. So looking forward to it. Let's go, bear. Here we are. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but there's something really powerful in the middle there. Like a portal? What is going on? Oh my gosh. The portal is has a life bar and I'm trying to get to it. And <laughs> I don't even know what, what to say. This is so weird. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just keep going. There must be something else to it, no? Well, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on, but okay, we'll just keep going at it. Because when it dies, the portal... Oh, there you go. I was trying to figure this out. So I got some ancient shards, and what do those do? They become ancient orbs. And what do those do? No idea. That was strange. I don't know what I got, but I got things. So, all right, can we go down somehow? I wonder if there's um, if I explore a bit, am I gonna find a door because of where we are on the map? I wonder. No, it doesn't seem like it. Wait, there's gotta be some kind of way to get to the other side. We're right next to it. Well, that is a shame. Azerite. I need to do more things about Azerite. Up, up all this darkness stuff. All right, off we go. Get some Azerite down south. The lower we go, the more dangerous these enemies get. We made it. All right, blue juice. Let's go, blue juice. Yay, Azerite explosion. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Boom, 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 boom. Mm, mm, num, num, tasty Azerite. Love it. Can I go further down? Potentially, yes. Oh, this is a completely different place. Now we're in the, the mucky muds, I think. Some kind of green grotto. Again, this activity is fantastic for leveling up. Wait, what's in here? Lost jewelry? Oh, 
It's just a belt. I was expecting more. And the bear waits for me too, so that's kind of it. The second Azerite point. All right, blue juice, let's go. It feels nice when things blow up on screen. Makes me feel fuzzy in my tummy. Comfy rug of comfort. Glass bower bubble, those are good, those are good. Where are they, what do they do already? Improves the quality of a flask. Yeah, I actually need those. Can we go anywhere now? No, nope. back to maps, I guess. And then, then I'm gonna have to cross all this to go over here. Okay, first I need to upgrade my light radius. Ah, oh, so close. I'm gonna become like much better. Also minus 4%, like I'm gonna go into the positive. All right, in terms of maps, where are we going? I'm gonna do a red one. We could do a red one. Cool, let's do a red one. Let's see if I can figure it out. No, don't let me die. Don't let me die. I died immediately. All right. Yeah, that was fun. Super fun. I swear, the Wildwoods are one of the only places where I just die instantly. They just get to me instantly. All right. 1,400 sulfite. That is good. So is that the loop, basically? Go to the maps. Get the um, Azurite. Not the Azurite. You know what I mean. The shiny rocks. Get the shiny rocks. Go do... And then go delve. And delve as far as you can. I mean, what is the... Is there a limit on delves? Like, how far can you go down? I'm at, like, 100. Is that near the end already? Or is there more? Serious question, too. I really want to know. There's still two more deposits to find. All right. I'll find it. There's one. How is the damage so high on these guys? Sheesh. Especially him. Oh, I... There you go. Yeah, that's not good. Let's try this. Much easier. Oh, fire and fury. Yep, it's not too bad. If you got fire resistance, you're all right. Nice. Woohoo. All right, my bag is full. I'm ready to delve. And I'm going to be delving real hard. <laughs> this doesn't sound good. I'm struggling to figure out if I'm getting any progress like done and, 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 and this. Does that make sense? Like I'm, I'm wondering if I'm doing it properly or if I'm forgetting something very important. All right, give me that blue. Blue juice, please. The forbidden blue. Okay, I definitely feel like this has much more enemies than we usually get. Many, many more. There we go, Azerite. Oh, oh, Azerite, yep. 270, look at it all, blah, so much. Perfect. A scarab, why not? So do I don't need the gems, but I definitely need to go that way. Let's see if there's anything special that way. You guys have got to tell me how you use delve. Is there a way to like specialize delve into certain items so you can grind a few out or... Man, look at all these pit bulls. Is this UK road simulator? Emotional, damn it! Excel bullies, you gotta you got have your muzzles on, guys. It's a raccoon only YouTube channel, I'm afraid. Okay, what did we get for that? We got a few six, like, what is that over there? Oh, enemies, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. No six linked in a while, by the way. Okay, continuing. So you can also like just be still under attack and just decide to move it's it's a lot it's a lot to take in it really is god one day i'll be streaming this game eight hours a day and i'll be the happiest boy alive as the right vein there we go give me that blue it's not a bad loop it's like uh do some maps get the powder go into the del delve basically get some currencies get some azurite improve the bear go further down go further down level up get some gear it's kind of actually it sits parallel to maps for me it's not it's like i don't know if it you know i feel like it sits parallel to it i feel like you can do both at the same time it com complements each other you know it's not a do this or that but yeah there's a lot going on for it oh look at that a three magma fisher magma fisher Sure. Azurite Fissure. Fissure? Oh, and Stilling Orb? Absolutely. Oh my god. Like, see, I got all these enemies that I just can't be bothered with, but I have to clear them. Otherwise, I'm in danger. Okay, one more down. Woohoo! Let's go. It's also quite dynamic. Like, you're always on the run. On the, on the go, I would say. Not really on the run. Always on the go, which is cool. I wonder how many, like, do you actually use the fr uh, fragmented doors or whatever they're called? Do you actually blow them up or do you ignore them like I do, it seems? And I'm already nearly level 90. Cool. Maybe I'll be nine, level 90 in this video. That'd be fun. The blue juice. Let's go. It's funny because we've explored these different features. We've done Syndicate, we've done Affliction, and they only complement and they own they they're they're the ultimate customization of Path of Exile. Path of Exile feels like a game that is truly yours because you get to decide. I mean, especially after the campaign, you get to decide how you want to tackle well the season, I guess, that you're playing. I find that very interesting. <gasps> What's that? The Grand Architect's Temple? Yes, please. Yay, Azerite. Let's go. All right, where are we going? That way. 
I'm gonna have so much Azerite to spend. I'm excited. And the blue juice has been harvested. Can I go down here without getting more sulfite? No, so I need to go back home, do one more map, come back. Oh, actually, I could go and upgrade all my stuff. How much? Azerite, 5,000. 5,000 Azerite. Ooh, that feels good. So suddenly there's no more penalty. 22% darkness resistance at depth 116. That's great. That's really good. And light radius. So yes, please give me more of that. Cheers. And it seems like I'm, it's not giving me the quests anymore. That might be not true. All right, let's get some more juice, some more powder, more like. And I need to find more because so now that I have the Delve tab, I'm understanding that actually the Delves are mostly about the fossils. So I should try and look for more fossils. Oh, I've reached level 90. Nice. Okay, so we're back at it and we're going to go and discover this, which is a rune chamber contents unknown. Very, very mysterious. Oh, I got one more point here, which I can put here. Sulfur veins and chests in your maps have 10% chance to also contain an equal amount of azurite. Really? I can just get azurite? Wow, that's really cool, actually. Didn't realize. Plus, I have a lot of bonuses to, to um, chests and stuff, so that might be useful, actually. All right, here we go. Unknown content. What does it mean? Open the chambers to the city. City chambers. Right. I've done this before. I know, I know how the game works. Run through, run through, run through, get to here, run through, run through, run through, get to here and nothing happens, but take all the things potentially. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh my God, don't die. Please, no, no, yep. Open all the chests. Oh, seven veil orbs, that's great. Awakened Sextant. What does that mean? These are my favorites, I think. Like, okay, you take a lot of damage if you're not careful, but you get the most things here. Like for real, for realsies. Look at that. Or refusing. Get the most currencies, you know? It's great. Bunch of maps. I'll take them. I did the thing. Oh, uh, let's go there. Oh, no, my God. Uh, uh, uh. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay. Now we're going somewhere really unique that I've never been before. All right. What is this place? Veil Nexus. What's that? Oh, a boss. Tatlat Aziri, he just said. What does that mean? Oh, he's not taking any damage. No, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, what is he saying? Askado, Zawat Moti. Oh my God, this is so cool. What is he? He's like flying. And he's got like a little, oh no, darkness. I have, okay, one. Wait, wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. Wait until I take darkness damage before I put one of those flares down, just in case. Am I supposed to just survive? Because I can do that, I'm good at surviving. Don't underestimate the power of the bone smasher. Wait, is that the name of it? Bone shatter, sorry. <laughs> I'm good at PoE, I swear. All right, there we go, he's back. And Berserker, go, 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 come on, come on, come on. I'm taking damage, but I'm surviving, done. Yes. These guys never drop anything cool. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. Oh, and this is another addicting mechanic, I just realized, because I have to end this video because we've been recording forever. Let's go back to the hideout and do our pros and cons, because otherwise we'll never get out. Oh, but first, let's upgrade as much as we can. 800, that's not much, but we can upgrade our stash. The capacity, thank you, that's the word. See you, Nico, take care of yourself. All right, delve, pros and cons. Well, I have a few, for sure. Start with the pros. Super approachable, easy to understand, quick to grasp. <laughs> it's just the same thing three times. <laughs> very fun, very dynamic, great. Great for XP experience. Fantastic that it's an activity that you can do parallel, but also on top of maps. I don't feel like I'm wasting my time at all when I'm doing this. I'm going as far as I can down and I just love that. Nico is a cool NPC. He's got great voice acting and a lot of lore if that's what you're into. You want to discover that. Lots of questions to ask him. And I think that's it for pros. Do I have any cons? Mm, any cons? I guess my only con is I wasn't too sure. It's a con on me, Nix, nobody else. Uh, I wasn't too sure on like why. I... It was fun. Like the whole mechanic is fun. Going further down and challenging yourself, fun. But I'm not sure I could really give you an idea of why we were doing this. That's my only issue. Maybe for some currency potentially, but I didn't see anything like that I couldn't get in maps. Does that make sense? Anyway, that's it for this video. All, all in all, it's great fun. It Delve is really fun. So I'm happy I discovered that today. Again, thank you so much guys for watching these videos, subscribing and liking and doing all the good stuff. Thanks for joining the Discord. Thanks for watching the lives. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.